guys how we doing today i am going to sew a plastic tote bag and it's a free pattern from she loves crafting on youtube and i thought this was a really cute tote bag and i wanted to try it out so you are going to need two 16 by 14 inches of clear vinyl this is 20 gauge vinyl you're gonna need two, I'm using waterproof canvas, two four by 30 inch, and these are for the straps. You need two four by 16. This is for the deck of the decorative straps that we, not the straps, but the strap that we're gonna put across. So it'll be like a clear vinyl. And then two five by 16s, okay? So first things first, I'm going to move this all on the side and I'm going to start with my straps now with the straps it's usually the same way when you're sewing uh, fabric so what you want to do is bring your ruler in and mark down the middle two inches because this is a four inch strap and we're going to do a one inch strap so you want to go take your ruler, make sure everything all lines up, and just mark it straight down in the middle. And you want to do the same thing to the other side, which I already have done. Now the next step is with waterproof canvas, you cannot iron this. I mean, you can very very fast but with this um you can either use double-sided tape or you can use clips so what I, today i'm going to use my clips so first thing first i'm going to take my edge and i'm going to fold it down about a quarter of an inch and you want to do the same on both sides And then now, what you want to do is take both edges and fold them into the middle. And clip it right here on the edge. And then there goes your more edges. As you can see, you don't see no more edge. And you want to go straight down the middle and clipping... And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold the other side down. So I've done one side and now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so now with the other side, we're just going to do the same thing and fold it straight in the middle, lining it up. And you want to clip the ends so they stay together. And then the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it and I'm going to add the clip to the other side. Just like that. Then I'm just going to work my way down. Clipping both sides together, making sure that it's lining up in the middle. Okay, just like that. You want to make sure that the edges are lining up. going to do this with my other strap and then we are going to sew them down okay 
Okay, so I finished both my straps. Now I'm gonna sew them together. I'm gonna do one eighth of an inch strip down the close, down the open end to seal it close, and then down the other side. So let's do that. then come across this way and then back stitch and then we're done with one strap oh I think someone used my scissors for something okay so there goes my strap it's really looking really good so now I'm just gonna fast forward with the other strap and I'll be back Okay, so I finished. Now I'm just cutting off the extra threads. I'm just gonna take my lighter now and I'm gonna burn off whatever threads are there. Cinch them down. And here goes both of my straps, okay? So now we're gonna go on to making the bag. Both of your vinyls. And you have two four by sixteen and two five by sixteen. Next step is you want to take your five by sixteen and we're going to sew one part to the vinyl. So what you want to do is take one piece of both pieces plus a vinyl. So I got one on the side and I got one right here. You want to take your biggest piece, which as you can see, you can tell which one is bigger because one is four inches, one is five inches. So you want to take the five by 16. So I'm going to put this on the side. And I am going to add this, leaving that paper wrapping sheet or something because with plastic, it's kind of different on machines. So you want to put right sides together. And then you want to go and pin it. And top stitch this at a quarter of an inch. Add my tissue paper to the edge of this. And sewing with a quarter inch, go all the way down. Sorry guys, I just wanna make sure you got a good angle. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go and sew this at a quarter inch, back stick chin on both sides. Okay. As you can see, I got it sewed in, a good stitch too. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the other side of my material, which is the four by 16, and I'm gonna sew this right sides together, back stitching on both sides.
so now that i got both my materials waterproof canvas sewn to the clear plastic next step is to score your top vinyl crease back your seam allowance and score it as good as you can and then you want to do the same on the other side, just a quarter inch. You want to score that. Okay. And that's so you have a good seam on the outside of the bag. Then you want to do the same to the other side. And I just eyeballed this being a quarter inch. Okay, so now what we want to do is flip this over. Increase it really good. And we're going to sew this and top stitch it. At one eighth inch. And back stitch on both sides. So I top stitch one, as you can see, is looking really good. And now I'm going to fold this in. Make sure it all lines up. And I'm just going to clip the edges to keep it still. On the four inch side, I'm going to press this down and I'm going to top stitch this waterproof canvas and the vinyl together. Okay, so I got the bottom part done. And this is what it should look like. Just like that. So now what we're going to do is close the other side. So what you want to do is bring your bone folder and crease it really good. And then bring it over just like you did on the other side. And I'm just going to try to crease this and then clip it. top stitch this to put it to attach it to the vinyl
Okay, so now you want to mark 5, 8, and 11 inches. So you want to get your ruler. And I'm going to go and mark 5, 8, and 11 inches. And now what I want to do is come and take my strap and mark down 2 inches from the top to the bottom. Mark 2 inches down. Two inches there. And now you want to line up your on the outside of your bag. And then I want to clip it so it stays in place. And then I'm going to sew straight across. And this one is two inches too. So one, two. Then you just want to fold it up right there. That's two inches and bring it down. And then you want to clip it and then sew straight across. Okay. So I went and sewed on the handles. As you can see right there. And now I'm going to go get a piece of Velcro because that's how we're going to put the enclosure on. Okay, so now I got some double-sided Velcro that I'm going to sew into the bag. And I'm going to, this is one and a half inch. And I'm just going to cut a one inch. Okay, so the way this works is that one side is soft and the other side has the sticky part. So as you can see, so one side you want to. Sew like this, and then the other one you want to sew like this. So when they join together, they'll, how can you call it? Okay, stick together. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to find the eighth inch mark. I want to fold this up. And where that eight inch mark is at, you wanna add your Velcro. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and sew the Velcro on. And you wanna make sure that this flap is open and up and that, your vel and that you're going to sew the Velcro in the inside of the bag. So now you just wanna go and backstitch. And then just go all the way around. Okay, so now I got that part in. And now I think I'm going to do my rivets. And that's what it should look like. So now I'm going to turn this around. And I'm gonna get some rivets and my hole puncher. Okay, so now I have this cardboard because I cannot find my cutting, a small cutting board. So I'm just gonna lay this right underneath my material and I'm going to create a hole with my Japanese hole punch. And I did 
did that on both sides as you can see and now i'm just gonna go up a little bit further up and i'm gonna add another one right there and this is just gonna add some decorative to the outside of the bag okay and i'm gonna do that to the other side and then i'm gonna use my cam press to snap in the The rivets and I'm just going to take my rivets and you need eight of them total I'm just going to bring my rivet press in and we are going to snap in my rivets so here goes my rivet press and now what I'm going to do is add one, and then a cap in the back. And they snap in. And I'm gonna do that with both sides and then I'm gonna clip them in. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay, the next step is to close this flap down. So now, for you to do that, you just want to roll this up a little bit. And you want to fold back that crease that you made. And now you just want to do a 1 8 inch and back stitch. Okay, and I just want to straighten this out. Okay, so there goes that part. And that's the finished part of part one. So I want to tell you what's next. Okay, so here goes both my lining pieces. Or my, not my lining pieces, my bag. And now what I want to do is take both of them and line them up. So the Velcro matches up and also the corners guys. So you want to clip them like that and then make sure the Velcro lines up. Okay, so it's going to look just like this. Let me move you guys back. So here goes my bag and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my ruler and mark out two inches. So that's two inches there and two inches there. So I'm going to mark out this box and I'm going to do that to the other side too. by two okay. and now what I want to do is take my scissors and cut that out okay I have my scissors and now I'm just going to cut this two inches down I'm going to do the other side. Okay, 
and this is what it should look like. So now we want to sew down the sides, closing it up at a quarter of an inch. Back stitching both sides. Now you want to do the other side. So we're straight down a quarter of an inch. Back stitching on both sides. And that's what sh it should look like. After you sew the bottom, the sides, you want to leave the bottom open. Then what you want to do is turn the whole entire bag inside out. So, we're just going to do it like this. And now you want to crease the edges and make sure that everything lines up, folding it in, making sure everything's tucked in. And the bottom method is a box met method for bags, which is super cool. So I just want to make sure that everything's lined, lined straight. And now I'm just going to sew this. Close the bottom. Then I want to do the last side. Okay, so after we sew that together, now we're going to do our box. So now you want to bring, fold this up and bring both of these sides together. And you want to make sure that it's one edge is on the side and the other one is over. And I want to clip this. And I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance on this. Going straight across and we are going to put some binding. Oops. 
I caught you guys. <laughs> I bagged you. Yay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so now... going to take this quarter inch and I'm just going to sew straight across and back stitch on both sides. And while that is like that, I'm going to get some more waterproof canvas and we go, are going to bind this really quick. And that's what that looks like. Now, I'm going to do that to the other side. Okay. Okay, so now, after I bind the sides up, I'm going to turn it inside out. God, I like how this came out. Okay, so now I'm just going to straighten all of this out. Now, if you have a bone folder or something to pull out the edges with. Okay, so I think I did one thing wrong. <laughs> But you really can't tell unless I told you. Okay, I think. You know, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to show you my stomach. <laughs> okay. Just pulling out the sides, making sure. And oh my god, I really like this. guys can see it velcros and this bag would be good for if you're going like to Walt Disney World or any place where they have security and they want to check your bag but um overall this came out really cute so thank you so much for watching head over over to her channel she loves crafting, so you can find the free pattern. And this is super cute. I would like to make something like this with uh, fabric also. Okay, guys. So tell me what you think. I really like it. And then I put a little small little thing here so you can put like a tassel or some type of decorative thing there. So thank you so much, guys. Until next time, stay safe. Bye now. Oh, if you have not considered subscribing, I sure would appreciate it if you press that subscribe button, for, click on the like, thumbs up, and subscribe, and I so do appreciate it.
I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.